You're watching Investor Insights and in this video I'd like to discuss some famous last words. This time it's different. And a lot of central bankers, a lot of commentators, a lot of policy makers very often use this phrase and every time they're proven to be wrong. And let me sort of elaborate on that. Loose monetary policy led to the uh, internet bubble. And what happened was tech wreck, the bust that followed in 2000. The Nasdaq lost three quarters of its value. Um, then the Bin Laden saga happened as the stock market was trying to recover and the Fed had to lower rates to 1%. And that's been the lowest forever. They did that for a couple of years, and all this loose monetary policy led to the seamless inflation of another bubble, which was the real estate. And when this thing imploded, it became the global financial crisis, big credit crunch, so forth, so forth. And the Fed stepped in, Ben Bernanke basically jumped in and decided to, first of all, lower rates to nothing. And then it decided to, decided to monetize all these um, measures through asset purchases. So it had to monetize all the debt. Well, every single time they do the same mistake, but on a bigger scale. So loose monetary policy led to tech wreck, internet bubble, tech wreck, then loose monetary policy, even more looser monetary policy led to the housing bubble. And then now you've got the loosest, most irresponsible monetary policy that's ever been put into implementation. And what do they say every time? Well, it's different this time. It will work. Famous last words. The Bank of Japan governors have been saying that same thing for 25 years. This time it's different. This time we're going to print money. It's going to be different. Well, nothing's been fixed there for 25 years. And this time with America, them actually saying the quote, this time it will be different. We're going to have uh, looser, more loose monetary policy than ever. Man, I think they may be right. I think this time it will be different. But it will be different in that it's going to be much, much worse. If you think about what has happened, if you think that quite lax monetary policy led to the tech bubble and then more uh, think about the damage that that did and then the Fed stepped in with 1% interest rates for only a couple of years and you saw what damage that did now imagine what damage 0% interest rates on top of four, five, six trillion dollars worth of asset purchases is going to bring. There is no superlative for this one. Let's just say that this is going to be the end of America. And it's not that I don't like Americans or I don't like the US or I've got anything against them. But I'm just being a realist. And this can't go on. You can very easily see that when the when the implosion happens, this time it is different. Because this time 
it's a sovereign debt crisis. And when that happens, there'll be no bailing out of the banks that this time will fail. No, nothing will be too big to fail because the government will fail. And if the government fails, as I said before, there'll be no one out there to bail out the companies, the banks, anything. The Fed will be broke. The Treasury will be broke. The whole system is going to implode and that will mark the end of the American economy. Do not believe a thing you hear when they say this time it's different, this time it's going to work. Because it's not. It's going to be much, much worse.